Hey guys, welcome back to another outdoor living video. We are working on a DIY weed killer today and then also adding in some storage for our patio space. We spend so much time out here in the summer and it quickly becomes overwhelmed and cluttered. So I wanted to find a way to literally contain that and also wanted to find a way to control all of the bugs and pests in our yard without having to hire a professional service. And I think that we have found like the best product on the market. So I'm definitely going to to share that with you as well but first I wanted to give you a little overview of our patio space and what it's been looking like lately it has become very overwhelmed and cluttered in this one corner and I wanted to get a grip on that but first I had noticed that we were seeing some weeds sprouting up through the cracks of our pavers so we're gonna work on clearing everything off of the exposed pavers and creating a little DIY weed killing solution and spraying that all over to hopefully prevent any more weeds from sprouting out throughout the remainder of the summer season. So this DIY weed killer or weed preventer, I just needed a sprayer. So I have this one. I've had it for a couple of years now. And then some vinegar. I got the 30% cleaning vinegar from the hardware store and some dish soap. This is just some Mrs. Meyers dish soap that I had underneath of my kitchen sink. But looking back, I think you told me to use Dawn dish soap. I'm not sure if it really makes a difference or not I haven't seen any more weeds popping up through our pavers so I'm pretty sure that this worked but you guys will have to let me know did I do it right did I forget something is it important to use a specific brand of soap I also was a little unclear about what kind of vinegar I was supposed to be using like the regular distilled vinegar that you get from the grocery store or cleaning vinegar so I just opted for the stronger of the two which is cleaning vinegar and I found that at my local hardware store and oh my gosh prepare yourself if you are going to try out this weed killing solution I just was not even thinking about it and it smells so strong like painfully strong it felt like it was burning the insides of my nostrils and I was spraying this on a very open patio space outside it doesn't get more ventilated than that and it was just not enough ventilation it felt like my nose was on fire but i'm sure that it's worth it in the end because we haven't seen any more weeds sprout up like i was talking about and the few that had started sprouting they died by the next morning so i think that this did work and i would recommend that you should try it if you're looking for a natural kind of diy weed killing solution that is safe for humans and pets just maybe not safe for your nostrils so wear a mask if you're going to try it I decided to pick up this 100 gallon weatherproof deck box to add some additional storage into our patio space. We actually have the 31 gallon version of this on our front porch area and I like to use that for packages and deliveries but also for like our small decorative items like lanterns and things that I keep on our front step that I don't want exposed to the rain all the time. So anytime the weather is bad, I put it into the box and then I take it out when the sun is shining again. And it has just worked really well. It's super easy to assemble. We haven't had any problem with the weatherproofing portion of it. No moisture, no rain gets into it. So I wanted to go with the same brand again for this 100 gallon deck box. And I am so glad that I did. It takes like literally five minutes to put it together it just all snaps into place it comes with a lock and a sticker if you do want to use it for packages and deliveries it also has these spring loaded hinges on this larger version so the top is super secure but it was just so spacious and added more storage even than I thought that it was going to we have a mini fridge on our patio and I have like some overflow sodas and things that I had just kept stacked like off to the side and we had a lot of rain over the last two weeks like thunderstorms every single day and it just ruined that outside packaging and the cardboard started disintegrating so I wanted to protect those keep them somewhere safe we also have all of our kids toys and outdoor games our campfire skewers bug sprays our outdoor throw blankets and cushions there's room for 
basically our whole patio to fit into this thing and I have just loved it so much so if you've been on the fence or thinking that you need some outdoor storage a deck box I've been thinking about buying one for like five years and just never clicked check out and I don't know why I didn't I'm so glad that I finally did and take this as your sign that just go ahead and check out just go ahead and grab it it is 100% worth it I would highly recommend this one specifically and I'll leave it linked down in the description box just in case you want to check it out for yourself This is another thing that I would say if you have ever thought about getting a mini fridge or an outdoor refrigerator, it is 1000% worth it. We've had ours for, I think this is our fourth summer, and it is just so nice to have drinks available whenever we're spending time out here, having friends and family over for barbecues, or the kids are having play dates, they don't have to run in and out of the house a million times. We use it so much all spring, summer, and fall, and it is 1000% worth it. Okay, so we just got home from quick trip to Target and I wanted to show you all of the things that we had picked up for this outdoor space. Some things that we need to do out here and then some things that we've just been keeping an eye on and waiting until they went on sale or went on clearance. If you don't know, this time of year is when they put all of their outdoor things on clearance at most huge retailers like Target, Home Goods, Walmart, all of those places are going to have all of their outdoor things on sale right now, up to like 70 and sometimes even 90% off if you're getting really lucky. And the reason for it, I know it seems like we're just in the middle of summer, why would summer things be going on sale? It's because they're switching over to fall and it's not to encourage you to decorate right now in the middle of summer. It's just in order for you to have those things for when the season starts, all of the retailers are like a season ahead. So all of their outdoor things started being stocked in like February and March. And by now they figure anybody who's going to buy new furniture, buy any of these items would have already bought it and they're gonna start switching over to back to school and fall. Which means that you can score some major deals. Every single thing that we got was on really good clearance, like 50 to 70% off clearance. So check it out. Some of these things might be on sale on the website and if they are, I will leave them linked down in the description box, but I always get the best clearance finds in store hunting them down. So go in your patio outdoor section and just scan everything to see what the prices are at your local store. But anyway, so we've been keeping an eye out on these mosquito repellents and they are like 20 to 30 dollars each depending on what stores you're buying them from regular price and our target had them on sale for 70 percent off so they were five dollars each and i got three of them i got this green one for the girls like patio area because it kind of goes with their play things and then i got two of these like neutral colored ones and we're gonna keep them here on the patio and when we're not using them I'm gonna put them in the deck box and then I also got two packages of the refills I think there's three refills in each one they say that they last for like 12 hours they give off the um, chemical that kills all of the mosquitoes so you don't have to use those 12 hours consecutively if you're out here having dinner or a barbecue or an evening with friends and you're only out for a few hours just make sure you turn it off before you're done and then I also got a meat thermometer it was 50% off only eight dollars and we don't have one so it's by the same brand as our grill the Weber brand and I figured why not it would help with grilling chicken and then we also got these After Bites Itch Relieving Cream. I got two of them. They're safe for kids and they were 70% off, so only a dollar each. Our kids, it's like the end of the world when they get a bug bite. I'm sure most kids are like that, so anything that can help them. I also got these mini cans of Dr. Pepper. My youngest daughter struggles to drink a whole can of soda. We're just not a big soda drinking 
family in general. It's not part of our routine until the summertime and we keep our mini fridge stocked with like seltzer waters, energy drinks for Derek, sometimes iced coffees and sodas for when we have like friends or barbecues over. But in general, our kids don't drink a lot of soda. So Sawyer, my five-year-old, can't get through a full can. So we got the mini can so that she has something just for her that will be easier for her to finish and feel like a special treat. And then my favorite find at Target today was these three packs of the Cutter brand bug spray. So this one is the yard spray and this is what we really went in that section to look for is some kind of yard spray. And then they also have the mosquito fogger in here and then a can of mosquito repellent that you like put on your body. But this was such a good deal. All three of these were only $7 for each pack. So we got two packs. We figured we'll do one now and then we'll do one at the end of summer like when it transitions into fall and we're still using our patio. So this is the spray that you spray into the yard. This is the uh, fogger for mosquitoes and we live in an area that is pretty close to water so we we get a lot of mosquitoes and maintaining your yard with bug spray is like a necessary thing for us we typically hire a professional company to do it but because of all the renovations going on inside that were costing us a significant amount of money this year we decided to save in the budget and not go with that service for the 2023 year slash season so we've been doing it ourselves we already did one yard treatment but after having the neighbor's trees in our yard for like three summers three years it just attracted so many more bugs than we're used to on top of the water attracting the mosquitoes so even though these say that they last up to 12 weeks we did one treatment already about four weeks ago and we just want to do another one. We did see an improvement, but we want to make sure we're staying on top of it. So Derek's actually going to cut the grass right now and just, well, in just a few minutes and then spray the yard with the bug spray and we're going to leave it overnight and not come out here so that it has time to like soak in and do its thing. And I will update you guys in the voiceover about how this brand worked because it's the first time that we are using this brand. So if it works, I'll let you know and then you can go hunt it down in your local target if you are needing it. Before we get into spraying for the bugs, I just wanted to get all of Sawyer's Dr. Peppers into the mini fridge and have those nice and cold for her for the next time that she would need them. I just decided to use this smaller container that was on that top shelf. That way it's separate from everything else. She can easily see it and she knows that it's designated for her and only five of them fit in here, which is fine because it'll take her like two weeks to drink five of these. So I just stored the rest over in our new deck box. There's plenty of room for it. I'm going to continue filling that up here in a second with all of these things that I had gotten from Target. But first, I also wanted to take them out of their packaging. So I'm going to get the yard spray ready because we are going to be doing that in today's video. And then I wanted to unbox all of the mosquito repellents, the refills, just everything that we had gotten for this outdoor space. I want to get all of the packaging off of it. I am going to recycle all of that and get it set up so that we can use it the very next time that we're spending time out here and have it ready for us.
So I just have to say, I love cutting the grass, especially with the riding mower. It is so fun. It doesn't take that long at all, and it can be such a relaxing time, but I let Derek do it most of the time because he enjoys it just as much as I do, and I think he kind of looks forward to it, to be honest. He just loves getting on the mower. He also, like, washes it after every single use and just takes really good care of it, so I know that he enjoys it a ton, and I just let him go ahead and have that, but he was so annoyed with me when we were filming this because I don't typically film him cutting the grass, but since we're doing yard work and spraying for pest control and all of that, I figured we should go ahead and add this to the video. So I would set up my camera, and then there's just a certain amount of yard space that is in view of the camera. So I was like, you can't leave this little section that is going to be caught on camera. So he had to cut it in such a strange way. It looks like he's just making circles all throughout the yard, and that is not how he would typically go about cutting our lawn, but it just made it easier for me to film and then edit the clips later, and he's so supportive and such a trooper, so he did what I asked, but that's also why I only filmed him in the backyard because I figured he's he's been through enough already. I'll let him just cut the front yard however he wants to. He gave me plenty of content here to share with you guys. Also, I should say we love our specific riding mower. I know those can be such a big investment and we had one previously that we kind of inherited with the house and it lasted for three summers and then it died and we used a push mower for the next two because this is such a big purchase. So we wanted to really do our research find a good deal and also find a good mower that was going to last us quite a while and we love ours so if you're in the market for one I'll leave ours linked down below if you wanted to check it out but anyway now it is time to go ahead and do some pest control so with this cutter brand of backyard bug spray you just attach it to the hose because what is in the container is a concentrate so it needs to be diluted and this is not safe for your kids or your your pets to walk on immediately it needs to dry all the way so we did not have the kids or the dog out here for the rest of the night but I just took it to the very back portion of our backyard and started spraying there and worked my way up so that I would not have to step on any of the wet grass or any of the wet lawn after I had sprayed it the coverage on this is amazing I got our entire backside and front yard done and it was super easy to to use and to spray we saw an immediate difference in the bugs like the next morning we came outside no gnats like we've been experiencing no mosquitoes this has worked really well so if you are looking for a good lawn spray to control bugs and specifically mosquitoes because they don't all control mosquitoes I would highly recommend this one check your local target see if they have this set on sale it was very much worth the $7 that we paid for it. I just sprayed the entire backyard, all of the play area, the open lawn here surrounding the patio, went up the side yard and all through our front yard, although I didn't film that. And look at this, I only used half of the bottle. That is crazy. So anyway, instead of just using it up just to use it up, I decided to put the safety stopper back in and make sure it's in the off position. 
and I'm going to put it in the deck storage box over here so that the kids can't get to it and in like a week or two we will spray again just to be extra sure and then we still have this one over here for when it goes from summer into fall and we're still using the patio and outdoor space we'll spray that again but I am so impressed with the coverage area of that that like far exceeded my expectations but this is what the patio is looking like now and it's not a whole ton of changes but I feel like the changes we did make had such a high impact and add so much more function into this space. This deck box, 10 out of 10, highly recommend everyone needs one. I love that it just nestles in there perfectly. It flows so it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb, like it's not a complete eyesore. And there's just so much storage in there. I mean, I knew when it said 100 gallons, I knew it was going to be big, but like this much? Come on now. I could fit so much more in there if I was just a little bit more strategic with how I put it in. This is just incredible. I love this. I would also love your opinion about moving the bar cart over to this side instead of having it over here. I felt like over here it just kind of cluttered the space a little bit and didn't feel like it flowed so we just kept it with the mini fridge, the faux plant, the lemon slice mat, of course our what is this hose and then I have a mint plant up here and we use this when we make drinks like fresh drinks mixed drinks lemonades things like that we still have all of our chips in this picnic basket and that has worked out really well mini fridge is mostly stocked but I decided to move this over here because really we don't use it as a bar cart. We use it more as a serving tray. So instead of lining up all of our picnic or barbecue food into the center of the table and taking up most of the dining space, I like to keep that pretty clear and we put all of the like utensil caddy, food, sides, things like that, and covered dishes over here so people can help themselves and it's kind of out of the way and it just stays there until everybody's done eating. But I thought that would make it easier to reach and just a little bit more functional. But what do you guys think? Is that an eyesore? Does it look out of place or is that where I should leave it? But yeah, that is everything that we had planned for today. So that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope that you all enjoyed hanging out with me, doing some yard work and some outdoor DIYs and just cleaning up this patio space. I can't wait to hear what you think of the changes that we made to the patio. I feel like it's gonna make it so much more functional and it just created a more minimal look and that's what we're going for this year but anyway if you did enjoy today's video don't forget to give it a thumbs up that always helps out my channel so much subscribe if you aren't already I'd love to have you join my little YouTube community thanks so much for choosing to spend your time here with me today and I'll see you all in the next one